And somebody was telling me some time back that the kingdom of God will take over. We are taking over. Papa, we are taking over. I said, what are we taking over? We are taking over politics. We are taking over government. We are taking over entertainment. We are taking over football. Hmm? Taking over. <laughs> I said to him, no, there's no such thing. He says, it's in the Bible. I say, you are reading it upside down. There's no such thing. Jesus came as a king, a ruler, not like Caesar. Jesus came as a king and a ruler, but not like Caesar. In fact, Jesus emphatically said, my kingdom is not of this world. Clearly, in black and white. <laughs> my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were to be of this world, none of you would play around with me. None of you will even arrest me. But because my kingdom is not of this world, that is why you can treat me the way you want to treat me. Caesar ruled with the sword. Caesar ruled with money. Caesar ruled with men. That's the kingdom of this world. If you're going to be anything relevant, governor, president, Whatever you want to be, you must have a sword. You must have money. You must have men. You must. You can't rule in this world without a sword. You need an army. You need guns. And then you need money. And then you need men who believe in you. And believe that you are loyal to them. That when you get in there, they will all be represented. That's the way the world system works. What are you talking about? Okay, let me give you an, an example. If the governor leaves the, gov the, 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 the governor's house, you think he will drive through the street alone? Huh? There will be escorts, there will be pilots, there will be sirens, there will be military men, there will be all kinds of, you know, uh, all kinds of military stuff. So that if you try anything on the road, the way they will handle you, you will not remember that you are a party card carry member. Why? Because that's the way the world system works. It's, 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 it's a form of tyranny. It's a form of tyranny. Intimidation. Harassment. Harassment. Why? Because that's the way the world system works. But the kingdom of God doesn't work like that. So that's why we will not take over government. We will not take over politics. We will not take over entertainment. We have a mandate to preach the gospel. Get men from darkness to light. Say I hear you. That doesn't stop your personal ambition to be a governor or to be a president. Brother, if you have that ambition and you have what it takes, go by all means. And when you are there, remember me. That's your personal ambition. That's not the kingdom of God. That's your personal dream. That's what you want to do with your life as a person on it. But that's not the kingdom of God. Am I teaching here? Righteousness, peace, joy we are in the Holy Ghost. That is what? The kingdom of God. Are we teaching? Okay. So I had to correct him. <laughs> Jesus ruled by sacrifice. Jesus ruled by death. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus ruled by death. It is through death that he became the king of kings. When he rose from the dead, God gave him a name. So except you want to drop the cross and go for Caesar's sword and go for Caesar's army. Some people imbibe a wrong thinking. You know, because they are not well taught. There are things you learn in discipleship please listen carefully in discipleship you drop what you used to think in discipleship you drop what you used to think you must think the word not think for yourself in discipleship you think the word you don't think for yourself somebody says Christianity allows critical thinking Christianity wants you to think. No. 
Christianity says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12. He says, do not think like the Gentiles think. Ephesians 4, 17. We do not think like the Gentiles. So, in Christianity, we don't question everything. Say, no, you have to question everything. No, you don't. If you have to question everything, then it is no more faith. If you have to question everything, then it is no more faith. It is called the faith because there are things you don't question. There are things you just believe. There are things you just believe. Am I teaching good? If you have to question everything, it is humanistic, not Christianity. 